It's a party. <laughs> Yay. All right, guys. So here we do have Danny Carey charging out there. Going to get that carrot onto Phenomenus right away. We do have Lava Burst coming out there uh, from Novos. Both Warlocks getting their gateways down. We are going to have Bloxack uh, popping his Demon Soul immediately. He is going to be playing Affliction. Uh, Thugonomics going to be playing Destro. So it is Destro Ellie. Uh, Mistweaver Monk going up against that standard Affliction Ellie. Uh, Resto Druid Comp. We did already see one of those go down. You know, Snuts Talb. And so it already did fall down in there on their side of the tournament. And, and look at Thugonomics already getting down really low, down to 30% HP, taking some big damage. Gonna have to get caught up here um, by Danny Carey. He's gonna be able to land a couple big heals there. Phenomenus will be put off into that fear. I think they're gonna go for some big CC off him. You can see that Para does come in onto him. He's probably gonna be leg swept off. Yes, the leg sweep does come in there as well. But they're trying to get something going here onto Bluckstack. Bluckstack gonna pop his healing cooldowns pretty uh, preemptively there, though. I think he was fine, but uh, gonna use him regardless. Botar now. Uh, is going to get caught by that pummel from Danny Carey. Uh, a very good Mystery Monk. Maybe not as known as some of these other players, but a very strong player regardless. We can see Botar now uh, just looking, trying to get some damage done here on Thugonomics. They're going to be going on that Destro lock. He is going to be able to uh, heal himself quite a bit, though, with the Burning Embers, uh, or rather with um, with those Ember Taps from his um, Embers that he can save up. So Novo's going to be put into the Caps on. They're going to be swapping over on him. Full Dots are up on him from Block Stack. You can see Thugonomics going to be dotted up as well. Uh, Danny Carey already down about 40% mana. We can see Phenomenus uh, sit pretty here over at 92 percent mana uh doing a really good job so far uh it's something looking like this is going in their advantage but there's the para coming in once again lake sweep gonna land on botar and knobbers what can they get done here on the block stack block stack uh did use his healing cooldowns earlier on so uh, he will be a little bit more susceptible than he otherwise would be we can see that novos uh trying to get something done here the uh, sentence gonna be coming out here from botar though botar uh, going hard on novos he's gonna pop his shaman wall immediately and botar uh is gonna be kind of pulling back here for a second Maybe going to want to try to get out there. The Chaos Bolt comes in. Stone Form and the Iron Bark does go down to Botar. Going to be able to reduce a lot of that damage. And we'll be just fine. Uh, we're still just waiting uh, for the Demon Soul here to come out from Thugonomics. He's not just going to pop that, you know, randomly pop that early on like the Affliction Warlocks love to do. He's going to have to save that for that perfect time. He needs to get that perfect setup and try to get that one-shot kill. So although this Destro Ellie Monk team is looking like they are behind here, they're just waiting for that perfect scenario. And uh, will this be it? A couple of Ember Taps having to be used there by Thugonomics means he's not maybe going to even be ready. He may not have those Embers available to go for the Chaos Bolts. He did land that here onto Phenomers, but he's going to be out of it now. Uh, we can see... Uh, oops, I'm going to fix uh, this really quick. Sorry about that. Um, uh, console show player. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Uh, so Thugonomics is going to be going for that damage now. Trying to get the Chaos Bolt out. Um, Block Stack having popped that offensive trinket once again there. I was able to get full dots out on everyone with that. Um, Danny Carey down about 30% mana. Uh, we can see that... Uh, Bruvos, that is Novos uh, on the Ellie Shaman, is going to be put into that cap stun once again. 50% HP on him. He's taking quite a bit of damage, but Danny Carey healing through it well. Uh, doing a pretty good job. And once again, still, uh, Phenomenus full mana. Thugonomics trying to get something going here. Still holding his Demon Soul, holding his Trinket. It's not used to once. Here comes the Demon Soul. They're going to go for the Chaos Bolt. Will he be able to land that? No, he's going to get Shadow Fury on it. Uh, block stack, nice Shadow Fury. He's going to go for the Demon Soul Chaos Bolt once again. Will he be able to land this one? No, it's going to get LOS. That is the plight of the Destro Warlock. Holds those cooldowns the whole game, and he may not even be able to get a single Chaos Bolt off. Uh, but he is going for those Chaos Bolts once again. Will he be able to land this one? This one uh, is going to get grounded, unfortunately. So still, nothing able to happen with that entire Demon Soul there from Thugonomics going to get shut down completely, uh, and that is really the hard part about playing Destro. Now going to be able to land that Chaos Bolt, but uh, didn't do much of anything there. Thugonomics taking some big damage, going to be put into the Cap Sun. He has to use that Ember Tap, but is it going to be enough? He's down to 30% HP. Dark Bargain coming out there from Thugonomics, so uh, that Dot is going to be up, but he's not taking too, too much damage. The Dot is not really going to be much of a big issue there. Uh, we can see Novos pulling back now. Uh, trying to get something going here. He's fully dotted up by Bluckstack, though. Bluckstack uh, doing a good job spreading those dots around so far. Uh, playing very aggressively as well. Uh, feeling pretty comfortable to do so. Phenomers uh, doing a great job you know, keeping his team topped off, keeping them offensive. Bluckstack going to get dipped down about 60% HP, but he will pour out of there. Going to catch the Reju. The Swiftman may come out here as well. And when you see that Mel Drink going down for Phenomers, instantly falling out of combat. Rain of Fire is coming up from, from uh, Thugonomics, but he's not able to land them on him, so he's going to be able to get about 25% mana back there. Um, he's going to be able to get top back off. We can see Bluckstack pocketing the Demon Soul here. He's going to be able to tap, get some mana up, spread those dots around. So far, only Demon Soul dots on Inovos, though, and they are going to be Shaman Rage off, so he needs to get some more dots out uh, before this Demon Soul does end. He gets a couple up on Novos, but really not a very good job with that Demon Soul um, by Bloxack. Getting getting one dot out, I think, with uh, pretty much the whole Demon Soul. Not very effective. Maybe should have saved up a couple more shards uh, before going for that. You know, could have still burned out some more dots, got something done there, but unfortunately for him, it wasn't the case. Thugonomics is going to have his Demon Soul available here in another minute or two. 
but uh, really, they haven't been able to get much good done. And, and Danny Carey, he's doing a good job maintaining that low mana, but uh, it's definitely tough to do so. And he is going to go for that drink now. They want to stand him back up because that really is where their advantage lies, but uh, they're not able to do so. He's going to be able to get a little bit of mana back here. Nuvos, once again, pulling back, just spamming out those casts, just trying to keep the team a little bit scared. Both are going to dip down about 40% HP as some procs did fly out there uh, from Nuvos. You can see his, his orc racial is going to be popped here as well. He can use his hellstone there, uh, just trying to stay offensive, trying to keep the damage rolling. Uh, Blockstack now going to be the target as no hots are out on him. They need to get the CC on Fenabra, so got to go for a Fear on Fenabra, a Hex on Botar, something like that. Get some sort of a CC chain here if they want to go for Botar, because otherwise he's just always going to port back, always going to have those heals uh, coming out, and it should be uh, just fine. Uh, we are seeing some more procs coming out there. Botar dipping down about half HP, but uh, really not in any danger. You know, he's in a fine position. And, uh, Thugonomics now with that Demon Soul available, just building up Embers, hitting that Fire Ellie, uh, dropping the Rain of Fires around, uh, really just trying to get whatever he can done here. Uh, just trying to be annoying, pretty much. And the Capstun's going to be thrown out from Botar. It's going to land onto Thugonomics. Thugonomics uh, getting down about half HP. Uh, he's going to be targeting onto, onto Bloodstack, but Bloodstack, once again, just porting out of there immediately, playing very safe. Uh, Danny Carey is at about half mana. A nice leg sweep going to come out on Phenomers and Botar. Can they CC off that? The Para comes out. It's going to force the Trinket, actually. The NS coming out there uh, from Phenomers. So, forcing out quite a bit, actually. And now if they can get a full CC chain on Phenomers, Demon Soul will be available here for Thugonomics. So, this is going to be their window of opportunity. This is what they're looking for here. And will it come out now? Uh, the Tremor Totem is going to be dropped, but no. Uh, they are just going to wait probably for that next fear. If you can get a full fear out onto Phenomers, that, that would be the ideal time to go for it. Uh, we do see the Sean Wall pop once again there by Novos. Novos. Uh, getting a little bit defensive. Danny Carey down to 10% mana, so they, they can't wait too long. They need to uh, go for this window of opportunity right now. They did force out the healing cooldowns there uh, from Bloodstack as well. Um, and the window of opportunity is going to be closing here relatively soon. Thugonomics trying to push out. He wants to go for that fear on Phenomers. He's going to get shocked, though. Shadow Fear going down on Novos there from Bloodstack. Bloodstack going to get pummeled. Bloodstack in a bad spot. Demon Soul comes up here. He could just get one shot. Uh, the Iron Bar comes out. The Petsack comes out. Uh, Shield Wall comes out as well, but Bloodstack is going to be able to get out. He does port out. Uh, some big damage coming out there from Thugonomics. Wanted to go for that. That kind of all-in kill on the block stack, but unable to really uh, get enough damage out. They didn't have the CC on Phenomers, and block stack had the defensives available uh, to be able to to live through that. Um, so they're going to be just fine. Novos now the one dipping down. Danny Carey did get a drink off there, so he is going to be uh, okay once again. We can see Nuvos pushing forward, goes for the Unleash. He's going to be bursting into Botar. Ascend is going to be popped here. Big damage going to be coming out of Nuvos, uh, but he does get shocked. He's going to go for the Lightning Bolt now. He will be able to land that. There's a Feldom CS coming up from Bloodstack. Uh, not really sure if that's worth it for the Shard, though. He's just going to sack that, go for the double CS. Uh, we'll see if that does pay off for him. Capstun does land on a Nuvos. He will once again be the target. And it's not looking like... Uh, you know, this LSD team is going to be able to really finish off Danny Carey's mana anytime soon. He just keeps being able to maintain a low mana, get those drinks when he does need it, uh, and he's doing a very good job. We can see the full Howl coming out onto uh, Phenobers. The MCS on a Botar to stop that Tremor, but Tremor comes out late anyway. Full Hex now onto uh, on Phenobers, and there's the Legs on Botar, so no uh, Dispel able to come out. Big damage coming out on him. The Crackling late Jade Lightning does come in from the Monk as well, but the Shroom Bloom going to be popped there by Phenobers. Gonna be able to do a good job, get him top to back off. Thugonomics now dipping down so low. Big damage coming in there from uh, Botar, spiking him down dangerously low. He did use two Ember Taps there, spamming out the Curse of Tongues as well. A full clone comes out on Danny Carey. Nuvos trying to turn something around here, but uh, it's looking like it's, a, it's just a stalemate, honestly, between these two teams. Uh, really nothing much uh, is happening on, on either side. You know, they're getting some people low, but uh, not too much chance of a kill just yet for either team. Botar now. Uh, was dipping down a little bit, but he's going to get full hots there from Phenobras. Demon Soul once again has been popped here by Bloodstack. Bloodstack uh, just trying to get the dots rolling. They're going to look for a swap here on Danny Carey. He's going to pop that Diffuse Magic. Uh, Chaos Bolt coming out there from Thugonomics. Will land on Botar. Botar pops to Sean while Kosh the Iron Bark as well. And Phenobras going to be put into that uh, that Paralyzed Stun. It's, it is from behind. Do they have anything off of it? The Hex comes in as well. That is going to be DR, but Botar going to be fine. He pulls back behind the pillar, gets the D-Curse onto his Druid. He's going to get hotted up. Some big damage coming in on Phenobras. Will force the Barks in actually and the Hellstone. Swiftman comes out too. Uh, but Thugonomics is the one in some trouble here. Demon Soul, uh, you know, not available for quite some time there for Thugonomics. And we can see Bloodstack is going to be about half HP. But once again, Iron Bark is available. And they are going to be fine. Uh, we can see Botar is going to pop his run cast. Uh, he's looking pretty healthy as well. Thugonomics is going to pour it out of there. Just trying to build up the Embers. But once again, we are almost at that 10-minute mark. We can see Botar is down to about half HP. 
full hotties are up on him though and he does have uh, the healing stream as well but we can see that Flokar uh, is going to be fine but he's going to pop his ascendance he's going to try to go offensive here on Nuvos Nuvos going to be catching those lava where he's down to about half HP 50% HP he goes down to about 60% gets the top back up uh, didn't even pop a shaman wall there so really nothing too much force and his 10 minute mark right now uh, Thugonomics is just pushing in uh, but both teams are, are, are pretty safe at this point and, uh, we're going to see the KS4 coming out. There's a Shadow Fear going down uh, from Botar, or Bloxack rather. Bloxack is going to be trying to get a little bit of damage here out on Thugonomics. He throws the CS out on him as well uh, to stop that fear, and he is going to be able to do so. Uh, we are going to see Botar popping the Shum wall there, uh, but you know, not too long of a cooldown, not too big of a deal. And the will almost back up here once again for Bloxack. We can see Danny Carey just trying to get those heals out, uh, trying to keep his team topped off. and. Uh, right now, doing a good job, but you know, no one, no one doing too well on either side. And, uh, you guys can feel free to chime in if you would like to uh, to get involved and throw in throw in some commentating as well. These, sir, these, sir, sorry, sir, I don't want to say. Can I speak? These, these, what? These wizard cleaves, man. Like the games go on for a very long time. They're very slow, but at any moment, anyone could just explode. You could switch here yeah, so quickly. So what, what do you think a team needs to do to, to win at the moment? What do you think they need to do? Is it realistically just going to get down to lining stuff up perfectly? Because right now it is really stalemate. Like, yeah, I mean, I, th I think for as far as the Destro, the Destro comp goes, you're never going to win on pressure. It's all about just setting up that perfect one shot, and they need, you need to be really patient and wait for that perfect CC chain. And I think they they've gotten a little impatient a couple times here, trying to get that damage going. Um, but not really being able to do it. It's, it's just all about that one setup and just trying to 100 to zero someone. Uh, whereas Affliction is much more about um, the spread pressure and, and you know just kind of building up damage. And I, I feel like uh, you know Blackstack, Botar, and Fedoris have not done a good job of getting CC on Danny Carry at all, and they haven't done a good job of stopping his drinks. So if you're not going to do either of those, you're never going to be able to get a kill with pressure. You need to either Umum or you need to CC out the monk and, and, and make him fall behind on pressure. And they're not doing a good job of either right now. So um, you know with how the game is, it, it's just you know, neither sides are really getting done what they need to do. And uh, part of that is because of course uh, you know both both players are, are really good at shutting each other down, but. Thugonomics is going to pop his Demon Soul here once again, and, and really, you know, when was he ever going to kill someone with that? So, it, it's just, it's a tough situation, but has to be pretty much perfect to ever get a kill uh, with Destro if you're going to play that, and, uh, you know, that's why most people don't. Destro, those Chaos Bolts, man. The Demon Soul, that's a 200k crit. So, is this the only monk uh, in the entire tournament? Yeah, probably. There's like, there's like no high rated monks at all anywhere. Well, Danny Carey is really good, I know that for yeah, a fact. he is very good, yeah. Awesome. I, are we boring the Minecraft guys yet? Where are we at? Are we doing good? In my chat, yes. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, I am not liking Mortal Warcraft. <laughs> right. I understand. We want to just bring both of them together. So, um, how many more matches do we have now? Uh, we are on the second match, so it's just going to be two more after this. Uh, the first one was really oh! quick. Oh! My pay, the PayPal loaded up. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Oh my Nelly, I'm just gonna let everyone know now that PayPal is up and running. It's the donate button below. I know a match is going on, but uh, blah, 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 Wizard Cleaves. <laughs> um, if you donate $100 or more, that is a very generous donation. We will take the time to read your note on stream. Um, just don't make it too long, please, and thank you. And every single donation counts. It goes to St. Jude's. It's a good cause. We appreciate it. Very, very thankful. Uh, we're gonna let Azale take over for now because I feel like their cooldowns are back and they might be able to actually pull something off. And I know the yeah, the time, time limit is almost up. There's only about a minute remaining, so we will see what they can get done here. Bloodstack uh, is going to be the target here once again for Nubos. Uh, and Thugonomics, they are getting him down about half HP, but he's going to be fully hotted up uh, once again. And, you know, he doesn't have his, his healing cooldowns. He doesn't have his uh, unending resolve as well. So uh, could be in a little bit of trouble if they can kind of pin him down. And Demon Soul is available for Thugonomics, so they may have one more chance. I'm not sure if they realize, uh, you know, how little time is remaining, though. Um, they're going to have to go for that kill here very shortly, or they're not going to be able to do it. Nuvos is going to get it out of there. He's the one taking a little bit of pressure. Thugonomics down about half HP. Uh, maybe going to pop his Demon Soul now. They did force out the Tremor. They got the Iron Bark. They got the Shaman Wall from Botar. So I think he should be their kill target, but they need to get a CC onto Thugonomics. Set that up, and they need to go for it uh, very soon before the Iron Bark's back up. You have a 30-second window there uh, for Iron Bark for Tremor. Um, and really, they're not pushing out to take advantage of that. There's only 30 seconds now remaining in the game. We can see a CS going to land there onto the Thugonomics. Uh, Novo's taking some big pressure here as well. Down about half HP. The Fear trying to come out. Is it going to land? Nope. Nice knockback there from Phenobar. going to shut that down. 
and um, Nova's gonna pop his his offensive cooldowns. He does have his, his racial up there. Uh, we can see Botar down at 20% HP. Almost uh, could have gotten Shadowburn there. I oh. thought he almost wanted to trink it, but you know he did sit that. Maybe if he had trinked it offensively, maybe could have got a kill. He did have a team still remaining. Um, but the game's gonna time it was out. That definitely was a 15 minute it. mark. That was a 15 minute mark right it? there. Yeah. That was close. Go. God, we're cute. We're so cute. You and me, man. All right, well, here we have it. Both players uh, getting their gateways down. Bloxstack going to gate in immediately. Going to go for that Shadow Fury. Uh, trying to go for the Hall of Terror for Rav. You know, maybe should have, that would have been a better choice. Just expecting for that Hall of Terror. But um, anyway, he's not going to be playing it. He's just going to play that Shadow Fury. We'll see how it's going to work out for him. He does have his Demon Soul up already. Full Demon Soul dots on both the DPS here for them. Uh, Thugonom is actually taking a lot of damage. Botar going to be put into the Hex, though. Is going to be decursed there by Phenomers. Oh, we see Bloxstack going to drop his port pretty offensively. Phenomers going to be feared off. Not in range of the Tremor, actually. So. Botar just going to pull back. Has to be a little bit careful, though. He's very spread out from his team, but he's just going to run back around the pillar. Fnavr is going to be put into that end cap. Danny Carey going to go for that uh, leg sweep off of this. And uh, there he does land it. So a nice job by him getting that CC chain out. Now going to be throwing out those heals, trying to top Novos back up. He is going to uh, just roll through. Uh, Novo is trying to get those heals out on him. Fnavr is going to be forced to Barks in there. Maybe they can get something done before that Barks in cooldown comes back up. Uh, they do have him about 30% HP. Full Hots are up on him, so if they want to go for him, they're going to have to get the Hots off of uh, Fnavr and, and go You know, in that little in that little gap. They, they have about 30 seconds right now, so uh, if they want to do that, they have to capitalize right now. Uh, Shadow Fear going to go down onto Novos. Novos is going to be feared. He's going to be cloned. Uh, he will be sitting that. Fnavr is into that fear. Uh, he's going to get tremored out. It looks like they are trying to look target him a little bit, but I mean, he's just keeping full blooms up on himself. He knows that that could be the case, and Botar now is the one taking the pressure, so they could make that swap over onto Phenomers, maybe just uh, gate in offensively and go for that swap, but uh, not looking to do it, and Thugonomics, the one getting low here, is going to throw out the Ember Tap, taking a bit of damage there himself. He's going to be dropping the Brain of Fire, but uh, Barkston should be back up now for Phenomers, so uh, kind of missing that, uh, that, that little you know, gap that they had. And uh, Thugonomics going to be bashed. We see the Hex coming out there onto Novo, so he will break eventually to those dots. Uh, but Thugonomics trying to get back to the gateway. I'm not sure if he did uh, get Earth grabbed on it or if it's, it's still available. It looks like he did get bugged out on it. Um, so he's not going to be able to gain out of there, unfortunately, for him. Nice job by Botar timing that out pretty well with the Earth grab. Uh, we can see Botar just going hard onto Thugonomics. Um, Danny Carey, you know, struggling a little bit more. They're getting better pressure out this game, but I feel like this uh, this Affliction LSD needs to be a bit more aggressive with their CCs if they ever want to get this kill. Um, you know, they're never really CCing Danny Carey. He still has his trinket. Monks are really susceptible to that CC, so I think they need to take advantage of that. Shadow Fury coming down onto Danny Carey. Will there be anything off that? Demon's Soul going to be popped here by Thugonomics. He's going to go hard onto Botar. Botar. Uh, is not going to be able to get hit, hit by that though. Uh, it was grounded, I do believe, and Bloxack did pump his unending resolve, seeing that Demon's Soul Chaos Bolt coming in, but uh, it never actually landed. Thugonomics still has a Demon Soul available. Uh, Danny Carey going to get out of there. We do have one Ember Tap coming out from Thugonomics, just trying to play it safe. I uh, may want to try to kill off those shrooms. I mean, they are right here on the corner. They should be able to find those uh, pretty easily, and they have been walking around there, so killing those off is actually a big deal. Uh, that Halotero is going to whip, unfortunately, on Phenomics. Uh, Thugonomics being put into that Shadow Fury. Uh, he's going to have to be a little bit careful here. Did he actually get knocked on that gate again? I'm not even sure if he wanted to, but it looked like it may have happened. And Botar uh, going to be putting some big damage in on him. The Hellstone uh, Dark Regen comes out there as well from Thugonomics. All healing cooldowns have been used. Still has those Ember Taps, of course, though. So, uh, and he's, he's standing right by those shrooms, so maybe going to notice him now. Nope, does not. Uh, Nova is going to sit down and go for that, that drink. Uh, Nova's trying to throw the caps down on him. It's not going to be able to land. There's the in cap on Fenabra. It's going to be double uh, trinket actually coming out on that leg sweep. And Botar's in a lot of trouble here. Botar could actually go down. He's MCS. There is no uh, no trinket available. And he's going to get shadow burned. And he is going to get taken out. Fenabra's Botar block stack leaving instantly. They are not pleased about how that went. And that is what I was talking about. Just takes the one setup. They got it there. The double trinket being forced by Danny Carey. MCS on the fear. Uh, the shaman could not tremor it because he was MCS by Thugonomics. So the perfect setup up there. Fnavr stuck in that fear, and that is all it takes. They're going to get him in a Shadowburn range. They're going to finish him off, and the European team is going to be eliminated. Blux Stack uh, and co. will be falling down, so the Destro Ellie Monk going to be moving on, and we're going to be moving on to the next series. Grab yourself a beverage, a hop if you wanna just pass to my liver. The evidence, as they say, is in the pudding. So show me the money, like my name was Cuba.